You know, somebody asked me last night, you know, I saw some of these um, soldiers, there was PCS in here, in here, the Camp Liberty, Fort Liberty, Fort Bragg, whatever you want to call it. They asked me, hey, Sergeant Major, you know, how long, how long were you in the service for? I said I was in for um, 30 years. You know, they were privates because they understand the service stripes. And I, I think they tried to joke on this. I had a whole lot of them. It was all the way up from my wrist, all the way up to my shoulder, but that's neither here nor there. She asked me, well, what was my worst duty station I've been at? And I had to honestly say, during my 30 years, six months, and 28 days in the Army, I never had a bad, bad duty station. Now, did I have some times where I didn't want to be in the Army? Yeah, when I went to the field and it was cold when I was in Germany and I had to go to the field in NTC, but as far as bad duty station, no. And then a lot of us here, you know, we were just talking about what was our best duty station, and a lot of us said Fort Bliss. Fort Bliss was my best duty station. I've been to Hawaii, I've been to D.C., I've been to Texas. I have to say, Fort Bliss. I say Fort Bliss and Fort Sam. Those are my two best duty stations. And it, they like really, really tight. They're like really, really tight. So again, you know, you can do 30 years in the military, you know, being force comm units, being trade outs, being medics, and still have a good career. And as I try to tell these new soldiers that's coming in, hey, you know, it's going to be hard at times. You know, that's when you have to have that uh, mental agility and that resilience to push through. So, you know, Hey, if you do 20, do 20. If not, hey, nothing wrong with that too.